Hey, welcome back. So we are going to buy some equipment today. So we get this oat field done. I called it a wheat field the other day. I was just seeing if you guys was paying any attention. Well, did you catch it? Because I was wrong. It's an oat field, not a wheat field. So anyway, let's get to buying some equipment. I think I got some things in mind. I had no takers on the equipment uh, ideas. So I guess it's just down to me buying it. So here we go. I'm thinking I'm going to go with a cloth today uh, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the biggest one here just a regular tank uh, we'll go with the 780 I guess we'll do that uh, let's see BKT I don't know what to s see let's get the right set up here I think I'm gonna go with tracks with broad four I think that will do it yeah let's get those I want a updated extended version of that protection now nah, we don't need that numbers now nah, we don't really need that right now if I do that I'll put that in there GPS yeah definitely want that um, do we want it foldable or do we want it on the tank hmm. let's see we're on the roof I guess we can just do it on the roof. Not a big deal. Pipe. Definitely want that to be a bigger pipe. That will probably do. I will just leave the window the same color. And so we're looking at $570,100. Okay, so let's put this in the cart and purchase this beast. Okay, so that leaves us with $624,000. Gotta grab a header trailer or a header which I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and grab the honeybee header which I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that yes that's what I'm going to stick with and let's see here I don't need the biggest one huh I think the 245 will do I'm pretty certain yeah let's do the 245 um, we'll do that yeah we'll do the extras just because I guess we don't need the query though. We better save because we got to get definitely want height control though. Um, but we'll put the wind system on it later as soon as we get to rolling here. So now I need a tractor. Let's see here. What do we want for a tractor? I don't know if I need a big one or a small one. I think we'll just go with a medium one probably. But I don't want something too expensive because I'm going to need. A grain cart and a truck to haul the grain with so let's see I was thinking I was gonna go with this versatile let's check out this dude I don't need something too extensive right now for the grain cart which that don't have PTO let's see if we can get that in there somewhere three point uh, there we go we can do PTO mid weights or just PTO Rear weight. All right, let's check that out with just a PTO. I don't think we need any weight. We can probably even go without putting weight on the front. Um, yeah, I think we could probably do without. But just in case, we'll put those on there. Standard radio. Radio. Oh, let's see. Yes, no, yes. That's only 175, so yeah, we'll do that. Twin wheels, yes. We'll just leave those at that. Maybe we'll go up. Oof, maybe. And I think we'll just go ahead and go with that. We'll go up one extra. Well, how much is it for an extra one? So that's 17,000 at 375 horsepower. Uh, that's 425. Oof. So if we do that, let's stick with 425. Let's do that. Okay. So we can do, get that for 224,000. Um, what else do we have on wheel options though? Something that may. I don't need big honking wheels, I guess. How do we look with the setups here? I don't know. I'm just going through seeing what we got. Twin wheels too. Oh, there's triples. That's pretty cool for. 1,000 extra, that's not bad. 
but I think we'll go ahead and I don't know, narrow twin wheels would probably be what I'll do. Yeah, I think that's probably what I'm going to do. The narrow twin wheels. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We might just stick with the right, Let's see here. <laughs> we'll just go through the wheels section here and just see what we got. Basically all the same. Um, I like that. That looks pretty good. Um, that looks pretty good too. I don't know. I think I'll just stick with the narrow twin wheels. All right, so let's buy this at two hundred twenty-five thousand nine hundred thirty-five. Okay, there we go. So that leaves us with one hundred ninety-four thousand seventy-five to buy a green cart. Um, we can probably buy one pretty cheap. I hope. Oh, da, 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 da. Here we go. I'm gonna buy one of these here. Let's see the Demco. 71,000. Let's just buy this bad boy. And we do want the scale and display on there. Yeah, definitely should do that. Rear hitch, yeah, we ain't got to worry about that. Electric tarp, yeah, I guess we should probably put that on there. No front chain, uh, it's only $45 extra, sure. And I think we're good to go there. Let's go ahead and buy this puppy. All right, let's see, make sure we got everything. Um, wait a minute, what kind of lizard? Wait, what's the price on that? Oof, yeah, I'm good. We'll stick with just the regular beastly tires here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we'll stick with that, not a biggie. All right, here we go, and buying that. And now we're ready to get this stuff up to the farm. But I gotta check on a trailer. Let's see. What do we got? How much is this? 160,000. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. 61,000. Ooh, here we go. We can do this one. Okay. So, all oh, this looks good. I think we're good. We're just gonna go ahead and stick with that. Okay, and I think the collar even will be fine. We'll just stick with that collar and we'll buy it like this. Okay, so there's that, 62,000. So we're left with 50,000 for a trailer, guys. Let's see what we got in trailer wise. Ooh, this is gonna be cutting it close. I have a feeling. I think I'm gonna have to figure something out. There's one for 27. I think I could buy that one. Or we can get a loan. I think I'll go with this one for now. Okay. And uh, let's go with at least aluminum wheels. There we go, guys. So this is what we're going to buy. And let's get down to the, sh the uh, dealership here and get this figured out. Get this stuff back here and get ready to start this harvest on this oat field not wheat field oat field <laughs> yeah i know i know like i guess i was just seeing if you guys was paying attention so anyway let's get down to the dealership okay so there it is guys the new combine the new tractor the new green cart and the semi and the trailer so i think we're set all right, so let's get this stuff back up to the farm here. Oh, I gotta buy the dolly for that. Uh, hopefully that don't cost too much. <laughs> you know, that's gonna suck. Uh, let's see, or the trailer, header trailer. I think that's like a two thousand. That's not bad. Okay, so yeah, perfect. There we go. Let's get that so we can get this stuff, get this stuff up to the farm. <laughs>
guys, so we're back here to the farm. We got the combine in the main bay here, getting it set up for the oak field out there. And uh, yeah, not wheat field, oak field, I know. So like I said, I'm seeing if you guys are paying attention. So anyway, <laughs> we're gonna have that set up and ready to go. And in the next video, we're going to be harvesting the field. Gotta go down and grab the semi and the trailer from the dealer down there. And uh, yeah, that'd be the next video, guys. So. What we're going to do is get this beast out in the field and get started. So, hopefully you all enjoyed today's video of buying equipment, you know, spending money. A lot of money, but <laughs> got to have it. And, uh, yeah, I didn't want to go small and I didn't want to go, like, too big. So, I think this is a perfect setup. Like I said, what do you guys think? Do you think this is a good setup? Do you think it's going to work good? I think it's going to work out. Okay. So the next thing will be is getting a cultivator for the tractor and uh, getting that field tilled after we get the get it all harvested. So, so the next video is going to be harvesting and grabbing the truck from down yonder and then uh, we'll buy the cultivator in the next video also. So, Alright guys, again, hopefully you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one now. Bye bye.